Gratitude is the law of increase, and complaint is the law of decrease. Change your thoughts, and in the twinkling of an eye, all your conditions change. Your world is a world of crystallized ideas, crystallized words. Sooner or later, you reap the fruits of your words and thoughts. The game of life is a game of boomerangs. Our thoughts, deeds and words return to us sooner or later with astounding accuracy. All that is mine by divine right is now released and reaches me in great avalanches of abundance, under grace in miraculous ways. When one has made his demands upon the universal, he must be ready for surprises. Everything may seem to be going wrong, when in reality, it is going right. Today is a day of completion. I give thanks for this perfect day. Miracle shall follow miracle and wonders shall never cease. Your word is your wand. The words you speak create your own destiny. Infinite Spirit, open the way for my great abundance. I am an irresistible magnet for all that belongs to me by divine right. I do not limit God by seeing limitation in myself. With God and myself all things are possible. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend, every man is your teacher. My good now flows to me in a steady, unbroken, ever-increasing stream of success, happiness and abundance. Every great work, every big accomplishment, has been brought into manifestation through holding to the vision, and often just before the big achievement comes apparent failure and discouragement. What man condemns in others, he attracts to himself. Unexpected doors fly open, unexpected channels are free, and endless avalanches of abundance are poured out upon me, under grace in perfect ways. Unforgiveness is the most prolific cause of disease. It will harden arteries or liver, and affect the eyesight. In its train are endless ills. Man can only receive what he sees himself receiving. I am fully equipped for the divine plan of my life. We must stop planning, plotting and scheming, and let infinite intelligence solve the problem in its own way. The light of the Christ within now wipes out all fear, doubt, anger and resentment. God's love pours through me an irresistible magnetic current. I see only perfection and draw to me my own. There is no separation in divine mind. Therefore, I cannot be separated from the love and companionship which are mine by divine right. Words and thoughts are a tremendous vibratory force ever molding man's body and affairs. Endless good now comes to me in endless ways. Man's word is his wand filled with magic and power. Man comes into the world financed by God, with all that he desires or requires already on his pathway. This supply is released through faith, 
and the spoken word. If thou canst believe, all things are possible. If one asks for success and prepares for failure, one will get the situation one has prepared for. Whatever man feels deeply or images clearly, is impressed upon the subconscious mind, and carried out in minutest detail. There is no there, there is only here. Intuition is a spiritual faculty, and does not explain, but simply points the way. Owing to the vibratory power of words, whatever man voices, he begins to attract. If you do not run your subconscious mind yourself, someone else will run it for you. No man is a success in business unless he loves his work. You must live fully in the now to make your dreams come true. Man can change his conditions by changing his words. The first start toward success is to be glad you are yourself. I have a magical work in a magical way. I give magical service for magical pay. Fear and impatience demagnetize. Poise magnetizes. Through his spoken word, man is continually making laws for himself. Man can only be what he sees himself to be, and only attain what he sees himself attaining. The trouble with most people is that they want to know the way, and the channels beforehand. They want to tell supreme intelligence just how their prayers should be answered. They do not trust the wisdom and ingenuity of God. When you send out real love, real love will return to you. I have a wonderful joy in a wonderful way, and my wonderful joy has come to stay. It would not be necessary to make an affirmation more than once if one had perfect faith. Giving opens the way for receiving. All obstacles now vanish from my pathway. Doors fly open, gates are lifted and I enter the kingdom of fulfillment, under grace. What is really yours? The blessings you bring to yourself, through your spoken or silent word, the things you see with your inner eye. Every person is a golden link in the chain of my good. Although some people think that life is a battle, it is actually a game of giving and receiving. And that concludes this video. Which Florence Scovel Shin quote was your favorite? Write it in the comments below and I will reply. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.